finally a policy shift. Yes, well, not really. I'm more of a finally theft, basically. Just basically a way of throwing things in front of your face which are related to food and or candy. Starting with this. An out of focus orange thing. One of my favourite things are out of focus orange things. No, most people recognise it as a uh, capsule from the inside of a Kinder Egg, which is weird because it has this weird lip on it now. It used to be uh, yellow back in the day. I haven't had access to these for a while, mostly due to the America weird law about selling them and they're honestly not very good. That's probably why. I mean, everyone raves about them, but they're not really as amazing as you've heard. Just they have weird bits of plastic in them that make really good YouTube videos. So recently I was in uh, a convenience store right near a hospital. As you do, you know, getting that weird growth treated. And uh, they had two sorts of two stands of Kinder Eggs. One side saying each of these contains a Disney princess and the other side contains a Marvel superhero even though technically the Marvel superheroes are now effectively Disney princesses. So Tony, Tony Stark is now the prettiest little princess that's ever been, because of course Disney owned both. Now I would like to say that obviously being exceedingly manly as we are around here, that I'm going to be showing you of course only the Marvel figures, because you know, manly. Played sports once, I once watched a game of hockey, didn't mean to, but I watched it anyway. But the reason we're going to be showing you a Marvel figure is mostly because they didn't have a Rapunzel or a Miranda figure available in the set, and frankly, those are my two favourite Disney princesses, so if I'm not getting those, I'm not buying them. But we did get a figure, we got a figure twice, because I only brought the one, because I'm cheap. Meet. Well. This. Yeah, it's the Hulk, the big green thing, like the jolly green giant, just not giant and really not that jolly. Uh, the ears. That's the thing we're going to be bringing up here, those giant lugs. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's so many people with big ears, I'm really unsure who to make a joke about here and how to make a joke that would translate. So instead, I'm going to call him the X-Hulk and then give you this little list of people with big ears so you can make your own. Sort of a joke buffet, if you will. So, people with big ears. Fantastic, so you can insult your own there. Personally, I'm going to be insult inserting Christopher Eccleston and by nature insulting him, which was a pretty correct Fordian slip. So it's actually pretty nice, I mean, you know, it's hulky and eerie. What I do quite like, of course, is a little bit of paper, which basically shows us that this set contains a mixture of other Marvel heroes. He says he fails to untangle the piece of paper into the microphone. <clears throat> Let's use the other one. <clears throat> so yes, a whole set of rolled up pieces of paper never work well. Never work with children, animals, or rolled up bits of paper, children. At least a blurry does. Oh, fantastic. So you might just uh, focus that. There we go. We have Big-Eared Iron Man, who is going out of focus. Big-Eared Hulk. Big-Eared Spider-Man, who through the camera viewfinder looks bloody terrifying. Big geared Captain America, who just looks like some weird kid wearing Captain America costume. Wolverine, of course, because Wolverine is the only character Marvel seems to want to market, despite the fact he's bloody awful. Big eared Loki. Ah, uh, if Loki had looked like. Wow, I should have thought this before. Loki, yes, Loki. If he'd looked like that in the films, he wouldn't have had any fangirls, would he? Tumblr would have exploded. Big eared Thor. He says while he focuses on the lizard. Big eared Venom and big eared Hobgoblin or Green Goblin? I can never tell the difference. I couldn't care out Spider Man, so to me they're both the same. Then a picture of Spider Man, which is in infinitely better than the 2003 animated series for MTV. So you might be wondering what the hell is special about this Hulk figure, apart from the fact it's obviously been impaled and had a rope through its head. Well, as with any version of the Incredible Hulk, you can break his cranium open. I don't know why, maybe we can store biscuits in there. But yeah, it's the little thing, click around. With numbers on it. I doubt you can see those. Just trust me on this one. Camera focusing being what it is these days. So you may wonder why you can have a clickable, breakable, inflatable Hulk. Inflatable Hulk? Incredible Hulk, I apologise. Inflatable Hulk? I'm writing my own fan fiction now. Probably that was the most terrifying thing ever. But, I will show you with the X plus one Hulk. 
Yes, uh, we brought in a second Kinder Egg. I don't know why it was. I was in 7-Eleven. It was very, very late at night, about like 2 a.m. And I brought a Kinder Egg. That basically is my life. Um, there you go. What? Put videos on YouTube. You too can be up at 2 a.m. and buying uh, children's confectionery from all night gas stations. So yes, you may wonder why I have two Hulks. So you know, with the head of this one. They're key rings, apparently, where you can join them together. This is the build feature. It's a whole little thing. You can attach them together. To uh, use the piece of paper once more, the joyous piece of paper, which is still not going to come into focus. Focus. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. For Mark, let's do this for Mark Ruffalo. No, come on. As you would see, there you go. Look, you have the two. You ram the two together. Much like in the human centipede. And the two rotate around their axis like some form of bizarre planet. So yes. Let's go, shall we? So of course we have the Hulk 1, get the Hulk 2, and we try and reach over the camera without knocking it, and we try and insert them together. <sighs> yes! And you get this. thing that won't actually technically stand up because it's now really top heavy. The uh, slightly growth, growth Hulk. Yeah, um, I don't know what they were going for with this. There we go. Now it stands up. Look at that. Isn't that terrifying, children? That looks like what happened when Bruce Banner became Sorcerer Supreme. You too can have a Hulk that's growing another Hulk off it. They could recreate the musical sideshow. Come look at the freaks, they'll hear you for weeks, Hulk is strong as there is. <clears throat> I'm not going to sing again, that was appalling. I apologise to the makers of Sideshow. Then again, I'm not going to apologise for you never rebooting that show because it was really brilliant. So, after that delightful, deformed, incredible Hulk, hello Panda Biscuits. These probably aren't that rare, come to think of it, um, because I used to be able to buy these in Hull from an import store. And if you can get it in Hull, I sort of feel that they're not that cultured, even though Hull, of course, is city of culture now. Though, of course, they haven't yet defined whether the, the city of culture means it's a city that has a lot of culture or a city that desperately needs some. Imported by our lovely new friends at Miji. We do found that in Korea they have these, but with a um, armadillo, which is weird. They're a biscuit with strawberry cream in them, actually very nice. I like these quite a lot. This box is very, very damaged because I've had to resist eating them. No, actually, they, I had them in a road trip and um, they got very broken. What I love is the uh, pictures. Obviously, yeah, Panda playing football. Of course, he's obviously playing for the Chinese national team, I believe. He's in red, is that? Chinese playing red? I think they do. He's obviously not a member of the England football team because he has possession of the ball. Panda roller skating like that in 1983. Panda playing tennis. He could be Tim Hemmings, so he could have missed. Uh, Panda about to do some karate. But to really kick your ass, that Panda is. And my personal favourite is this one. Hunger Games Panda, with a bow and arrow. It's my favourite because all the rest are wearing, you know, colourful, colourful outfits, you know, look. You know, all, the, all the nice ones. Back out, it zooms in, come on, zoom in. Um, all the pandas on the biscuits are being face detected, apart from this one. He's not a face detective, he's a footballer, which means technically he's not a person. Uh, there we go, all colourful, pretty outfits, all traditional outfits in the case of uh, Kung Fu Panda here. Apart from him, he is uh, in dark grey, he's in camouflage. That panda is the one that hides out in bushes and pings arrows into people. That is the Skyrim Panda. Now, that's what that is, that is a Skyrim Panda, it's out to kill you. You know, it's waiting for a small young girl with her shaky cam following her to come along so he can nip out of the bush and arrow her straight in the face. This panda is not a panda you want to leave around your children. Let's check the ingredients list. This box came from Canada, so it's got um, all the ingredients in French as well. You probably can't read this because it's blurry as all hell. Uh, I blame my camera. Anything interesting? Malt extract, amino acids, natural colour, beet red. I've got to love a bit of beet red. I do love some beet. Citric acid. It contains milk, soya, lactose and wheat. Oh, great. And these are, these come from Tahiti, French Polynesia. Huh. Well, there we go. Um, okay. I'm getting some, because I'm weird. If I can get it open over the camera. Oh. I don't know if they come in a box, but if you look in the box, 
It's a pretty pink package. They also do chocolate ones, which is an uglier brown package, but you know, I've got to keep up my record of being exceedingly camp. Um, I mean, you know, if I started ordering brown things, I wouldn't suddenly be a... Uh... Oh, wow, so they've got a nose grope. I love... love I, that's my favourite word ever, nose grope. They've got a great nose, but basically it smells like the most strawberry thing ever, and I just dropped one immediately. And this surface isn't very clean, it's been covered in the Incredible Hulk. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Panda marked on them, oh, this one's playing baseball or holding a sword, I can't really tell. I think baseball is wearing a cap, and I don't think you wear a cap when you're running around with a broadsword. Baseball's really popular in Japan, um, I didn't know that, I read, um... One of, I don't know where I read that, the pop in Japan. Who knows? Mm. Excuse me. And inside, a nice pink strawberry filling, which tastes very nice. I'm going to have another one because I can in my video. I love how obscure the sports get on these as well, as well. As well, as well. Gosh, I just, I just lost, got blip. I've just lost um, just a minute there. Twice. Both uh, repetition and deviation and hesitation. It's from parasailing. What really annoys me about these? He says he makes people who are eating now feel really sick by eating really close to the microphone. We have a small house, I can't help but. Here's the box, so you can see. With strawberry cream filling with it oozing deliciously out. Inside, it's actually more of fondant, so it doesn't actually ooze. Look, I can tip it upside down, it refuses to ooze. That's the strangest complaint I've ever made about anything ever. It refuses to ooze. Normally that would be a good thing. Mm. There you go. Hello Panda Biscuits. They're biscuits with pandas on them. I only want the Korean ones that have an armadillo on them. Was it an armadillo? I can't remember. But yeah, they do all sorts of these. But these are great. These are the ones I, I import in England all the time. So. Ah, happy memories of being rained upon, eating chips and watching Sherlock or Doctor Who. Back in the old days, when things were happy. Before I had student debt. And herpes. Right, final item time. Well, for our final item. Cup of water, yes. Washing out my palate after the strawberry biscuits. Because heaven forbid... Anyone should call an idiot eating candy on YouTube unprofessional. Ah, clean out my palate. That means that GCSE in food technology hasn't been wasted. Actually, based on what I do in my time, GCSE in food technology is the only one I've ever used. Hmm. Anyway, less of that, more of this. Random anime girl. No, a very long tube, as you can see. For pretty cure or pre cure gum. At least I hope it's gum. Fans in an import store. Um, I know nothing about Pretty Cure or uh, Pre Cure, apart from it's a magical girl show that tends to show up on the Magical Girl Confessions blog a hell of a lot. And it's in the Superhero Time block, which I only know because I used to watch Super Sentai and Carmen Rider on there. Interestingly, the Superhero block wasn't originally for um, uh, that kind of educational stuff, but then they started showing uh, Sentai Rainbow Man, which is still my favourite name for any Sentai ever. I mean, Rainbow Man. Ah, good old Rainbow Man. So let's see what we have, apart from a really long box. We have a girl in pink. It's a magical girl show, like some sort of law, which means we have to have that. We have um, the next generation of Doctor Who, and he finding it to be Ginger and a girl. E.g. the regeneration that will make all of Tumblr wet itself. Uh, Sticker Face the Mighty, who uh, you can't see because the box is a bit curved, seems to be umpiring a game of cricket. Let me get my finger in there. There it is, there's my finger. <clears throat> Seems to be umpiring a game of cricket and has found someone has just hit a boundary. Fantastic. Uh, that's the back of the box. She looks very, very confused by something. That is a baby. Uh, you know your, your sort of uh, magical girl team is a bit weak when you're taking a baby into combat. And some cats. <clears throat> Don't know why. Merchandising. Or maybe they're all the next evolution of Eevee. Let's have a look at the back of the box, shall we? Got nothing else to do. Yes, uh, we have eight of these. Oh, no, we have eight of them. We have eight of them, and then the two mystery gums. Now I'm not sure if that means the dog could tell us who's on the packet of the gum, or it means they're not sure if they're in there or not. I'm not sure. 
Shall we find out? Yeah. Now, first we're going to read the label because the label really interests me. Even though it won't interest you because it's blurry. <clears throat> Let's see if it gets into focus. No is the answer. Uh, the ingredients are great, obviously, of course. I got them from Canada, like I get everything else from. And it's got everything. I love the warning label. May contain traces of soy, milk, wheat, egg, peanut, tree nuts, sesame, crustaceans, mustard and sulphates. Basically, if you're allergic to anything, do not eat pre-cured gum. It will probably kill you. Not a significant source of cholesterol, vitamin A, vitamin C, calcium or iron. Basically, it will kill you. And if it doesn't kill you, it's still not very good for you. Okay, should we just should we open it? Let's open it. Oh. Let's all look at the pretty pretty cure logo. <clears throat> I'm actually have a camera to do this, not easy. <clears throat> oh, it's got tape on it. Oh, balls. I should have thought ahead and brought anti-tape missiles. Come on. No, oh, I'm being Oh no, no, just the camera. That's not good. Quickly. It doesn't really matter. Nothing interesting going on. There we go. Ooh. Change our lighting. There we go. Change the lighting so we can all see. As you can see, I just totally broke the lid. But don't worry, we've been told informatively that there are ten of these. Eight and two. Which means not ten. That means twelve. I do like the gingham something. There we go. Oh. Oh no, there is more. <laughs> oh. Okay, it's not actually gum. It's... Balls. And a rolled up thing. Should we see what the rolled up thing is first, children? Yes, let's move the balls over here. <clears throat> oh, it's a pretty cure post. So, which is really sparkly, so it won't actually focus. Um, I can't get them to shot. I wish I'd have thought ahead. Uh, look, it's a poster. It's a poster. What? There you go. For you uh, pretty cure fans out there, there is a slightly rolled up poster. Ah, see, I. I think this was all like it said a list gum on it. It didn't say anything about a poster on the box that I saw. Huh. Let's see what we have on this. Yep. We have falling down lighting, because I'm trying to move the lighting. There we go. I have more light than physically exists to film this at the moment. Mm. So we have a uh, happy girl, ginger tums of Doctor Who. Confused girl. Purple girl, uh, umpiring cricket. Look how sparkly. It is. Oh, it's got the large sparkles on it. Oh my god, is it bad? I'm generally impressed by this. Like I'm really. This is going up on my wall. Yeah, this, this is going up on the wall when we're done. Yeah, there we go. And um, her, who seems, uh, if you can see on her chest, let me see if I can get this. Oh, I can get an angle. Seems to be wearing uh, like the Sacred Heart medal, as if she's like won a war. Maybe she has. Maybe this is the uh, America's thing now. They can't use drones anymore. There's the Pretty Cure logo, or Pre-Cure. Mm. That was fun. I'm genuinely sure I don't know what to do now. No. Let's taste the balls. Um, wow, this is like the least visually interesting shot. So let's, let's put the box in the background. Oh, I know. Let's be joined by Little Hulk. There we go. Four size comparisons. They're very small. Wow, I paid a lot of money for this. I feel very ripped off. Um, I'll put the box in the background. There we go. This is because, obviously, if you're... Watching some a video of someone about to eat candy who you can't see, you're going to be very concerned. First up, Ligri. Kind of hard. Oddly chewy. Hmm. The taste of something, I'm not entirely sure what. Fruit? They're not really gum as much as, um... um I don't know what they are, actually. But I'm trying to read the ingredients. Citric acid, oh yeah, there's definitely... Are they lemon flavoured then? They do taste sort of very sharp. Let's try one of the pink ones, because it wouldn't be me fanning over anime unless there's like pink involved. Mm, look at that, we're waiting for a ball to focus on YouTube. Oh, there we go. Quite a nice shot. Those look like a pearl. Uh, I wish I had some pearls. I wish I had some pearls. It tastes different. It tastes sherbet-y. Um, sherbet fountains, actually. I wonder if anyone has had sherbet fountains. Uh, they're a British thing. Mm. I think it's slightly more gummy than the other one. I'm going to regret trying to chew this while eating on the microphone. Um, I'll have a box back. Why well, I just chew this.